Morning guys, girls, people, YouTubers. Thought I'd do another quick update. Right, this is lots of noise from the school across the road. This is the second night in a row that we've used this inverter. I used it yes, uh, the night before last, between five o'clock in the evening and 10 o'clock the next morning. And then I've used it from 4.30 yesterday morning till 8.40 now. We still have 25.85 volts in the batteries with a 453 watt load. I was able to make a two, two coffee and toast this morning with a 2,300 watt load or something like that. And it was, it run perfectly without a problem. Uh, we only put half a volt back in the batteries all day yesterday. So that's basically two entire nights running without a problem. Uh, what have we got there? It's just starting to charge up a little bit, 3.8 amps, 100 watts. So, and that one's got 26 volts with the charging current coming into it. So, here we are, tubers. Uh, I'm beside myself. I, I can't understand how, well, I can't understand it, but how good is this? I am just friggin' stoked. Uh, the only thing I'm not stoked about, sorry, one little thing I'm not stoked about, and that is... The Victron Energy Monitor died for some reason. I've done all the tests. Uh, it's got a fuse here, and it's got continuity to the uh, to here, but I don't know. So I'll be sending that back under warranty. Unfortunately, that would be some good information to have, but being without it doesn't really kill me. So YouTube, uh, this will be the last video on the sort of updates for now. The next video will be an entire setup video from that to that to the fuses to the holders to that box there to the cables even down to the battery terminals where I got them from and how much it cost me so everyone can just go through and replicate what I've done cheers YouTube